How you doing folks? It's Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports on Monday night, the calm before the storm. <laughs> Tomorrow, Sheltham, thank God, it's here, finally. But uh, Sedgefield is on as well, and I might uh, have one for Sedgefield. Uh, before I go on to my two selections for tomorrow, uh, you know, great, great, um, great run we're having on the service now. Uh, Paddy in great form there the last couple of days, following on from a really sol solid week. So, uh, you know, we did promise that we'd build up the Cheltenham tank for you, and, you know, thankfully we did, you know, uh, went very well indeed. So hopefully we, you know, kick on now uh, for the biggest week of the year. So I'm going to start off with my selection in Sedgefield tomorrow. It's in the 350. And the name of the horse is the Navigator. I'm going to give this lad a chance here. He's in around seven or eight to one, and I do believe that connections of well, you, you know, they're happy enough to come back to Sedgefield here on better ground. Uh, he had been running just okay lately, but I think uh, tomorrow's race sets up really nice for him. There's plenty of uh, horses that like to go forward, the likes of uh, cousin Oscar. Will be there thereabouts early on. So will the dancing pot and the navigator. He's won twice around Sedgefield before. Uh, he the handicapper didn't miss him now, to be fair. But um, you know, as I said, he's been out of form for a little while. Showed a bit more last time I thought, and tomorrow sets up well for him. I'm going to put him in there as a point each way, uh, around seven or eight to one. Uh, hopefully, he's a chance. Moving on to Cheltenham, obviously the festival. Um, Edward Stone will be one of my picks for tomorrow I think he could win the Arkle uh, again uh, you know he's done nothing wrong over fences really on his five runs this year he got brought down first time up but he's won four since and it's interesting that he actually did run over fences last year once in Doncaster but uh, on seated rider early on and probably a blessing in disguise because Alan King decided to go back over hurdles with him then just to keep his novice status for this year and there's no way he would have beat Shishkin in the arc last year, but tomorrow now I think he's a massive chance. Uh, the race sets up well. He's a very solid horse, and uh, it'll take a fair one to beat him. Obviously, there is dangers there uh, from Ireland. Blue Lord, obviously, a bit of a danger. So is Revere to tell. Willie Mullins has a few in as well. But I think uh, if things go cleanly for Edward Stone, I think he'll take all the beating. At the first race, I know I've tipped up John Bond in my long anti post travel. Uh, he I suppose he has his chance there tomorrow, but you know, I think myself the Constitution Hill would probably take all the beating. Uh, he's been savagely impressive the last few times. It's an interesting race, obviously Dice or Diamond in there as well. Uh, big word for Mighty Potter, Gordon Elliott get that a really good shout, and at the preview the other night. Uh, so yeah, plenty of my chances, but no doubt a uh, very interesting race. Champion Hurdle, you know, lots of opposition there for Honeysuckle now. Uh, people thinking she might be vulnerable, appreciate it coming back from a long layoff. But uh, Robbie Power was very sweet on that. Uh, the horse T uh, T Ampu, uh, that you know he's third favourite, and uh, Robbie was saying he thinks he'd be there thereabouts. Thought that was very interesting as well. So um, well yeah, the last race actually uh, is a horse I fancy as well uh, called uh, Vanillier. Gavin Cromwell trains us. He's stepping up to three mile six. Gavin really. You know, he thinks the, he's in the form of his life, and you've seen him there last year in the Albert Bartlett, where he was absolutely superb. So, uh, yeah, you know, at Rumwell Fred is probably the rightful favourite in it, but uh, I do think Vanilla, you know, if he Derek O'Connor riding him, and you know, he'd be riding him from the front, I'd say, and he'd probably take plenty of beating it as well, you know. But, uh, best of luck to Evisari as well, running the Boodles, owned by a few mates of mine, and you know, well fancied. You wouldn't know what this Gaelic warrior is. I know the lads down in uh, William Mullins are all singing his praises and thinking uh, he's a bit of a good thing. You know, is there a good thing in Cheltenham? Like it's all so competitive, you know. So, um, it's a very interesting race and um, all to play for. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Uh, whatever you're doing, bet safe and enjoy the sport. I do have. Uh, near enough max bet I'd say on Wednesday for, for the service so uh, I'll try and pick up a few winners from my YouTube and then we'll hit the service uh, again you know hopefully keep that strike rate going now because it's going very well so that's it it's Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports enjoy the rest of your night and best of luck with Cheltenham uh, 
bring it on. Best of luck. I'll take care.